girls it's ruby welcome back to my channel so today um my hair is looking a bit rough and i wanted to try some new hair color so i picked these up from my local grocery store i know i was a little bit worried um they're the splat uh rebellious colors and this is the color luscious raspberry now the reason i picked these up was because they were literally half off and i was like I can never pass up a deal. So <laughs> I bought two packs because my hair um, needs some work um, and I thought I may need two packs. Uh, so let's see how these perform and how they look on my hair. So regular price, these go for about $15 each and I got it for around $7.50 plus tax um, for the half off price. So I know they usually sell these at Walmart, at least in Canada, and Shoppers Drug Mart. Okay, so the girl on the box, her hair color looks promising. I'm hoping to get that <laughs> type of color from this. So um, this is the Luscious Raspberry color um, from the Splat Rebellious Colors collection. And this is the complete kit. It has the bleach inside. Um, it's long lasting color. And it says everything you need in one kit. So this is a vegan, cruelty free, gluten free product. And that was made in the USA. So what's inside is the Luscious Raspberry Color, uh, li one lightning bleach, one oxide, one pair of gloves, and one instruction sheet. So I just looked over the instructions and I'm gonna put on my gloves. Okay, so trying to pour it into this bottle was a nightmare. It was like going all over the place. So I decided to just mix it into a bowl, um, both uh, bleach packets. I'm just going to put it into a bowl and mix it this way. Okay, so after mixing for a while, it looks like this. It's thick and like kind of creamy consistency. Um, so now I'm going to apply that to my roots. So this is the bleach all in. Uh, I only did my roots where it was really dark and now I'm going to go wash it out. Okay, so I've washed out the bleach. Um, I left it in for about 10-ish minutes. Uh, it took me a while to put it in, but this is the, f the product of the bleach. Um, it did turn this like golden blonde color, which is pretty much exactly what I was looking for to be able to put the red on top. Rest in peace to my Fallout Boy shirt that has bleach on it now. <laughs> so the next step is to put the red in. So again, I'm going to put both bottles into my bowl and mix it um, before applying it. When washing out the bleach, I used shampoo and conditioner because my hair was feeling super dry um, after using this bleach. But overall, I think it worked well. It smells so good. Like, it actually smells like cherries. I don't know. So this is how it looks in the bowl. It's a really dark cherry red. Before I apply the color, I'm just gonna put some Vaseline on my hairline so that it doesn't stain my skin. Okay, here goes nothing. So this is the final look for the splat hair color in the shade Luscious Raspberries. Now, I'm going to say I had my doubts about this since it was half off. Uh, I wasn't sure how it was going to perform, but I'm pretty happy with the color. It remained pretty consistent throughout. Um, the bleach application was actually not bad. Um, the only thing I could say is it bleeds quite a bit and it was a little bit of a messy application. Um, but it's kind of expected from this type of hair color uh, based on what I've done in the past. I would recommend this hair color as an inexpensive way to get your hair looking super bright and vibrant like this. Thank you all for watching and leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you like the finished product. Comment down below what color you would do your hair. Also, if you liked this video, check out my other one where I reviewed the Good Dye Young hair color as well. See you all in the next one. Bye.